I just got splattered. Nine millimeter versus 45. Man, that 45 looks big compared to that nine millimeter. Does just, size matter? Of course size matter. Welcome back to another episode of Point Blank. I'm Heather and today it is nine millimeter versus 45. I have a bunch of crazy things to come out here and shoot to see the difference between the nine millimeter hollow point and the 45 hollow point. Out here on the range today, I have my CZ Tactical Sport 2 45 caliber Ruger SR 1911. Okay, first one I have is the nine millimeter hollow point. Down range, I have a pumpkin because it is all about pumpkin season right now. First one up is the nine millimeter. This was the hollow point nine millimeter, the hole in the front. Let's check out the back. A little bitty hole in the front. It looks like we have more of a hole in the, bigger hole in the front than the back. So you know that one went straight through. So up with the 45, the Ruger SR 1911. Forty-five. There's a little hole in the front with the hollow point. Let's turn around. Well, I that. did <laughs> skim the side. It's almost a perfect circle. Look at that. That's crazy. So let's pick compare. There's the nine millimeter hollow point, How and that's the forty-five. Entry. Nine entry, forty-five entry, forty-five exit. The top hole. Nine exit. The hole itself definitely more round. Yeah, the hole itself is bigger. I think the nine millimeter expanded all the way. The forty-five probably didn't get to expand all the way. I wouldn't want to get shot by either one of those. Next up, watermelons. I'm interested to see if the watermelon will have a different expansion on it because it's more fleshy than the pumpkins. So, back with the nine millimeter. <laughs> Oh. oh, dang, look at that. Tore that watermelon up with a nine millimeter. I'm definitely excited to see what the 45 will do to it. Honestly, was not expecting wow. it. It's a juicy watermelon though. That was. The whole inside is disintegrated. Ugh. Man, that really tore that up. Fat boy versus watermelon. Anyways, nine millimeter totally destroyed the inside of that watermelon, so I cannot wait to see what the 45 does. Oh, split it in half. The same, ugh. Split it in half, and it's gooey. It really, Damage all the inside. It might have damaged a little more of the inside, but they're pretty equal. Nine mil versus acorn squash. I don't think it'll do much. I don't know, maybe. Acorn squash because they're hard. This is a nine millimeter downrange, is an acorn squash. Popped its top. Sliced it right in half. Acorn squash versus 45 next. Yes, sir. I think both rounds so far have been impressive to me. Yeah, you just grazed the side of it. I think I would have split it in half and done the same thing. One more. There we go. Next up, pumpkin spice whipped cream. Nine mil versus whipped cream. Oh, that 
That one made it hop right well, off the table. A little more impressive. Nine millimeter versus 45 bangs the bang. Nine millimeter versus bang. Bang the bang. Oh. Shredded that can. 45 versus bang. Wow. Split it open. Nine millimeter versus 45. I think they're both, both impressive. I vote a tie. What do you think? My vote is size does matter. 45 was a little bit more explosive than size no does way. matter. Yep. No way. Anyways. I know it was a tie. Thanks for watching. No. The cameraman loves you. No. 45 was more explosive than a nine. Size matters. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Size doesn't matter guys. Size matters. It's how you use it. Peace. Love ya.